If you're involved in Webflow, then you're probably also pretty interested in AI. I mean, at the end of the day, we started using Webflow in order to build things easier, build things that we thought we couldn't build, and uh, AI is just another continuation of no code, I'm gonna say. So if that is the case, you probably heard about this MCP server. And you probably heard that people are very excited about it. I mean, Webflow even has it on a banner, as you can see up here on their site. So it seems like a pretty big deal, but if you're anything like me and you're not really a traditional developer, well, that might be a bit confusing to you. What is an MCP server? What can I do with it? And so what I wanna do in this video is show you how it looks, what can be done with it. I have a completely blank site that I built with the client first clonable and I have connected it. So you can do this with a couple of different things. We have cursor, we have Claude desktop and we have windsurf. I use cursor. If you don't know what cursor is, it is basically, it's called an AI IDE, which is just a fancy way to say it's an AI code editor. So I have cursor, I have that set up and all you need to do is go to your cursor settings, click new MCP server and then paste in what Webflow gives you there. So I've already done that. Once you do it and you save it, it is actually gonna pop open Webflow and ask you to authenticate your site. I have already done that, so here we are. I have gone ahead and started a chat over here with Cursor and just said, give me a list of things that you're capable of doing with my Webflow site using the MCP. So first things first, let's just take a look at that. So managing your site, it can view site details, it can list all your sites, it can publish your site, and it can ask Webflow AI. So that doesn't sound very exciting, but that means it actually has knowledge of your site, what's going on, so I can go, for example, when was my site last published? Uh, When was my site last published? I actually haven't published my site yet if we look in here. So I'm curious to see what it is going to say. Just thinking about it. Okay, so your published pages, yes. Your site was first published on July 23rd, shortly after creation, and it hasn't been republished since then. So as we can see, it has access to that. Moving on, what else can you do? Page management, list all pages, get page details, update page settings, view page content, and update page content. So I'm gonna go ahead over here and actually let's publish this first of all. And I wanna check, let's go ahead and just make this say, we sell really cool hats. We have the best hats ever. You really want them, trust me. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm just gonna try to delete all of this other stuff here. There we go, let's go ahead and hit publish again. And then once that's published, I wanna test this next bit over here, uh, the whole page management thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, take a look at my homepage and figure out what the point of it is and then go ahead and update the SEO information. So again, just so you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not lying, I'm not fibbing, I have absolutely nothing in here and I'm not gonna to touch this. So moving back over here, I am going to, just to keep things simple, I'm gonna just edit this message and I'm gonna say, can you please take a look at my homepage, see what it is and the content and then make the meta description and title good for SEO. All right, let's see if it's going to be able to figure this out. Again, this is the first time I have used it a little bit, but I haven't actually experimented like this with the MCP. So, okay, it's calling pages get content. I'm gonna allow it to do that. Now it's saying pages get meta metadata. I'm gonna let it do that. Just let it do its thing and see what happens. Okay, so as you can see here, it knows we sell really cool hats. We have the best hats ever. You really want them, trust me. That's exactly what it is. So, I can found it. This is a hat store with a fun casual brand voice calling update page settings. Take a look at that. It says they've been updated successfully. Now, I'm assuming it didn't publish it, but let's go ahead and I'm just gonna refresh this and see if it actually updated it. Um, that is going to be crazy. I know this is a silly little page with nothing on it. That being said, look at that. Cool hat store, premium quality headwear collection. Wow. So it came up with it, it updated my site just like that. So the MCP right now is absolutely killing it. It is doing everything that I want it to do. So page management, check. CMS collections management, create new collections, list all collections and get collection details. So now I'm gonna say, now can you please make me a collection template for hats and then add some placeholder hats. Okay, so 
If it can do that, that is going to be insane. So I've wasted a whole bunch of time in the past, just let's say making a blog on a site. Not that it's a waste of time, but I've done it so many times and every time it's title, description, post body, image, blah, blah, blah. It's just the same stuff every time. Kind of like how I don't like building nav bars because it's like the same thing every single time. Uh, so if I could just connect it to AI as I've done here and say, hey, make me a blog. You know how much easier my life is going to be ever. No, I'm kidding. Not everything is going to change, but it really is going to save me some time. Okay. So that is looking pretty good. Now it's got to create several different hat items. I mean, hypothetically, I could just tell it, write me blog posts and publish them. And that would happen on autopilot. That being said, if you don't really know how Google is with AI, it's going to catch on to what you're doing. It's not going to show your content. Google does not want AI generated fluff. AI is amazing and AI generated content is amazing. That being said, Google understands that AI can just generate that content. So if it doesn't have some sort of unique point, flair, whatever it may be, Google's going to catch on to that. I mean, don't think you're smarter than like one of the biggest companies in the world because you're not. Neither am I. Google knows what they're doing. That being said, what you can do is let's say write some drafts in Webflow, just don't worry about the formatting, don't worry about anything. And then you can tell the MCP over here to go through, edit them, improve them, which is friggin' awesome. So, okay, the MCP is like ripping right now. Let's just keep on going, it's creating items. I'm assuming it's creating these hats. Um, in the meantime, let's scroll up and see what the next thing we have to do is here. So we've got collection fields, collection items, it's doing all of that. List all components, view component content, get component properties, update component content so it can modify text and property overrides. Okay, for localization, I do not have localization, so I cannot show you that right now. List registered scripts, add inline scripts. Okay, so I am going to make it write me some JavaScript that adds an alert after three seconds saying we have cool hats. That's the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to ask it to add that to the home page. Okay, so it's done this. Let's go ahead and see if we actually have a new collection with hats in Webflow hats. Sun protection wide brim hat. That is friggin' crazy. And here's the thing about MCPs. If I'm not wrong, you could also, if there's some sort of MCP for AI image generation, you would be able to hook, look how amazing this did. Like everything is just perfect. This is a friggin' game changer, y'all. I don't know how I'm so late to like really experimenting and finding out what this can do because I'm going to use this on every single site that I build. We now have hats, so I'm assuming it can't, no. So there's not gonna be anything here. I would have to make that, but whatever. Okay, we can see that that works. Um, this, I don't think this has access to like make static pages or anything yet. Um, but what I'm gonna ask it to do now is I'm gonna say, now can you add a script to the home page, which makes an alert after five seconds saying a random joke about hats. So again, I can just sit here and have a conversation with AI and say what kind of code I want it to make. And it seems like it's confidently going to do that. All righty, let's go open this and see what we're working with. So, okay, we sell really cool hats. We know we sell really cool hats. That's the point of our store here. Boom, hat joke time. What did one beanie say to the other? You're really growing on me. What? It doesn't even, make, okay, AI is not very funny clearly, but it made the script and it did what we wanted it to do, which is friggin' awesome. Let's keep cracking down this list and see what else we can do with this amazing, amazing MCP. Script management, we did localization. I'm not gonna do that right now, but feel free to experiment with that on your own. So there are a bunch of different things that we can do here. That is just awesome. You can have it go through your site and do an SE. I'm gonna say perform an SEO audit and then I think we're gonna wrap up this video there. So perform an SEO audit on my homepage. It sucks, it has like two words, so I'm assuming it's gonna tell me it's crap. I hope it tells me it is because if not, then it's lying to me because that page is not gonna rank. I'm telling you that one for sure. So. Let's perform a comprehensive SEO audit of your homepage by analyzing all the key SEO factors. So it's got this. 7.2 out of 10, really? Okay, okay, uh, that's that's interesting. Well, meta tags, it created those and they are good meta tags, so I'll give it that. 
The URL structure is clean. The site status is published and live. It's mobile friendly. Uh, okay, areas for improvement, content optimization. Yes, very thin content, missing H2H. Okay, okay, so it is actually telling me exactly what's wrong with it. So that is really good. It's giving me quick win recommendations. Guys, the point is here, you can manage your friggin' Webflow site with AI now. I have been loving Cursor and... Um, now with Webflow Cloud being live, with the Webflow MCP being live, Webflow is doing everything that they need to be doing in order to stay with the times. I love it. I wanna say a thank you to the Webflow team for doing that and not leaving us behind in the dust with all of, all of this AI stuff that's happening. This is amazing. Comment below if you are blown away by how cool this is. I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned for some really cool videos coming up about using Webflow and AI together.